Welcome back. Tonight on the Titanic, we are at chapter 9. We got this chapter and chapter 10 to finish up. Uh, what a way to finish up uh, a second grade year by finishing up a Magic Treehouse book, Tonight on the Titanic. Chapter 9, Time Stops. Where is it? shouted Annie. The front of the Titanic sank deeper into the sea. Jack and Annie fell forward. They grabbed the railing and held on for their lives. Maybe the treehouse fell into the ocean, shouted Jack. A great roar started coming from the ship. Jack imagined everything crashing forward. All the furniture, dishes, bicycles, the grand clock on the staircase. He looked down. A giant wave of water rolled over a lower deck. Jack imagined water flooding the third class corridor, the class, the card room, and the grand staircase. He closed his eyes, waiting to be washed away. Orf, orf! The barking came from a distance. Teddy! cried Annie. Jack had forgotten all about the little dog. Holding on the railing, he used one hand to pull off his knapsack. Teddy wasn't there. There was more frantic barking. Where's Teddy? cried Jack. He's calling us, shouted Annie. We can't look for him, shouted Jack. We'll fall off the ship. Teddy barked and barked. He's close by, said Annie. She held onto the railing and moved slowly down the steep deck. Annie, cried Jack. Suddenly, the lights on the Titanic went out. The world was pitch dark. Jack couldn't see Annie at all. Annie, he shouted. He tried to move down the deck, too. But the ship tilted again. Jack slipped and fell. He rolled until he crashed into a smokestack. Jack, cried Annie. Here, here, Teddy kept barking. The back of the Titanic was rising out of the ocean. The front of the ship was going down. Jack tried to go around the smokestack without falling. In the dark, he could barely see the treehouse. It was stuck between a smokestack and the railing. It was lying on its side. Annie and Teddy were looking out the window. Teddy's barking led, it, led me here, cried Annie. Hurry, Jack. Jack crawled around the smokestack. He held out his hand. Annie grabbed it. She pulled him into the treehouse. Teddy licked his face. I wish we could go home, shouted Annie, pointing to the Pennsylvania book. Jack heard a loud crack. The wind started to blow. The treehouse started to spin. It spun faster and faster. Then everything was still. Absolutely still. Chapter 10, A Touch of Magic. Oh man, whispered Jack. He was lying on the floor of the treehouse. He was wearing his pajamas and rain poncho again. You okay? Annie asked. Yeah, you, said Jack. My heart's beating really fast, said Annie. Mine too, said Jack. He thought of the Titanic sinking into the cold black sea. His eyes filled with tears. It was terrible, he said. Annie nodded. Jack could see tears on her cheeks. Teddy licked Jack's face. Hey, said Jack. How did you get out of my knapsack? Teddy whined. Jack and Annie stroked his furry ears and head. I think he has a touch of magic, said Annie. Slowly, Jack sat up. He saved our lives, he said. And now we have to have the first gift to break the spell he's under, said Annie. She turned on her flashlight. She shined it on the silver pocket watch that hung from her neck. Lucy's gift, she said. The watch had stopped. The hands were at 2.20. Jack was silent. Then he sighed. That's exactly when the ship went down, he said. Annie looked at him. I guess that's when time stopped for the Titanic, she said. Jack nodded. Annie put the pocket watch on top of the Morgan's note. A gift from a ship lost at sea, she said softly. They were both quiet. Then Jack took off his glasses and wiped the tears from his eyes. Annie stood up. She took a deep breath. I'm ready to go, she said. Let's put Teddy in your pack and take him home with us. She shined her flashlight around the treehouse. Teddy, she said. There's no sign of the little dog. He's not here, said Annie. What are you talking about, said Jack. We were just petting him. He's up to his magic tricks again, said Annie. She sighed. We'll have to go home without him. But what happened to him, said Jack. I don't know, said Annie. But I have a feeling we'll see him again soon. She started down the rope ladder. Jack looked around the treehouse one last time. Teddy? he said, but the treehouse was quiet. Jack pulled on his backpack and climbed down the rope ladder. Annie was waiting for him. Without a word, Jack took her hand. The rain had stopped, but water was still dripping from the leaves. Stars glittered overhead in clear sky. Silently, Jack and Annie left the Frog Creek Woods. They walked up the dark street to their house and climbed the steps on their porch. Before they went inside, they looked out again at the night. 
Time might have stopped for the Titanic, Jack said. But books and memories keep the Titanic alive, don't they? If it's a true story, but it's always like a myth now. Yeah, said Annie, and every time the story's told, we wish it had a different ending. Jack nodded. That's exactly how I felt. Staring at the starry night, he shuddered at the memory of the sinking ship. He knew that he and Annie were lucky. They had come home. Good night, Titanic, he said softly. Goodbye. Then he and Annie slipped quietly into their house, where it was cozy and dry and very safe. And that is how we end tonight on the Titanic. Jack and Annie, Magic Tree House. They've still got three more quests to figure out how to solve or break this spell. But that's the end of uh, our Magic Tree House experiences in second grade, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Guys, we're at our video part for uh, homework, and homework today for reading, uh, you don't have anything assigned except just please read, 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 read over the summer. You heard uh, Mrs. Mitchell's uh, message, and she said read. Reading is so important, so please continue to read, build that fluency, build that reading comprehension, and continue to grow as readers. And writing, uh, your job is to, only if you want to, to get on Google Docs, do a text to type where um, you are writing a letter to Mr. Elliot about what you enjoyed or what you miss or will miss about second grade. In math, you're going to make a paper airplane and fly it, see how far you can fly it. Remember, you can make it a competition with some family members in your household. And your activity and challenge today, you're going to have one brain break and you're going to have a roller coaster virtual ride. Hope you enjoy, guys. And that brings me to the end, guys. Today, on this day, May 20th, 2020, you have completed your second grade journey. You're going to, what would have been walking out of the doors for the last day as a second grader. Uh, you guys, again, like I said, will either close a Chromebook, click an X. And that will complete your journey of third or of second grade and get you ready for third grade. I hope that throughout this year I have been able to teach you something that is going to go with you for a lifetime. Whether that be the relationships that we built, whether it be something in reading that I did that you really enjoyed, whether it was math that I loved to teach, or if it was a little writing that I've done. Nothing can replace the fact that you guys came into my classroom at the beginning of the year and were tremendous. I'm going to miss you guys. I hope you enjoy your summer. And the time has come now for us to close this chapter and for you guys to write your new chapter in third grade next year. I hope you have a great summer. I'm not going to do anything fancy, but you know what I need to say and what you need to say. You know what time it is. Guys, I wish you well until next year and you're in third grade. That's all I've got for you this year. So, it's been great having you as second graders, but I've got to say it. I'm going to miss you guys. That's a wrap. See you later.